Hey friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafting and She Knows It, and today we're going to make these awesome sensory bottles. Sometimes they're called discovery bottles or calm down jars, but essentially they're just really cool bottles filled with glitter and all different kinds of stuff that moves around slowly when you tip the bottle over or shake it, and I think you're really going to love them. And if you have kiddos or grandkids, they're going to love them too. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my clear little plastic jar right here. This, I'm pretty sure it's from Michaels, but I will link it or something very similar in the description below this video. All my supplies are always linked in the description below my video, so make sure you check out the description below. This is just a plastic bottle. It's kind of made for this idea of doing sensory bottles. You can use something glass if you want to, but obviously it's gonna be breakable and more dangerous if it's for kiddos. So I recommend plastic. If you're using a plastic water bottle or something that's been used, just make sure it's completely clean. That way it doesn't grow any kind of bacteria or anything in it. So now that we have our clean little container, we're gonna fill it halfway up with this light corn syrup. So corn syrup comes in like the darker color. This is the light version that's pretty much mostly clear. We're gonna go ahead and fill it up halfway. Consistency of the corn syrup is kind of like honey, so it's a little bit harder to come out of the bottle and it's pretty messy. So try to be careful when you're pouring it into your bottle. Okay, that was probably a little bit more than half of the corn syrup bottle, just to give you an idea. This bottle is 16 ounces, so I used a little bit more than eight ounces just so you kind of know. Now I have all my glitter, let me push it over. I have all my really cool glitter options right there. I'm gonna dump some glitter on top of the corn syrup. So I have different kinds of glitter. I have like the really fine, let me show you. It's like the really fine one that's almost like little dust. And then I have some chunkier stuff that has cool little designs. I don't know if it's gonna be easy to see. It's gonna be too hard to show you. Um, so I have some chunky stuff that's like little hearts and flowers. So it's kind of good to have different kinds of thicknesses. Hopefully you can see that. Some, some chunky stuff and some thin stuff to kind of add some different dimension to it. And then I just use these little mini stirrers because it's really easy to grab the glitter with it. So I'll link some of those because they're super fun. I'll link those below as well. So go ahead and put some glitter on top of the corn syrup. I have seven different kinds of glitter. I kind of, it's a little bit excessive. I recommend three to five maybe different kinds, but I wanted to add so many different fun ones. So I have seven. Well, hopefully it turns out okay. I'm gonna do about three scoops of each one. These are tiny little scoops. This spoon is teeny tiny. Okay, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more of the fine silver and the chunky silver because I think it's gonna show up the most. Okay, and you can always add more glitter at the very end if you want to as well. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add some warm water. It's important to use warm water, not cold water, because the warm water helps kind of mix with the corn syrup better. Now you don't wanna do this super hot, so not like boiling water, you don't wanna melt the plastic bottle or anything, just warm tap water will work. You can do regular water if you want to, or you can add a couple drops of food coloring to make kind of a colored, pretty sensory bottle. I'm gonna to try to do a super diluted light blue color to get kind of a blue sensory bottle. Okay, and so I made a light blue color using food coloring. I added one drop of blue food coloring and then I just diluted it by adding more and more water. So it's really pretty, this is warm water. You're gonna fill it up to about right here. You wanna leave a little bit of space so that you can kind of mix it and play with it and turn it upside down. And you also wanna leave space in case we wanna add a little bit more glitter or a little bit more water, a little bit more corn syrup or anything like that. So let's go ahead and pour the water in. Okay, put the lid on and go ahead and give it a shake. So it looks really cool. Everything is moving around pretty good. So some of the glitter is kind of sticking together in chunks. And when that happens, I like to add just a couple drops of dish soap. It kind of makes it more slippery where the glitter will not stick together. And so I have my little jar right here of clear dish soap. So I'm just gonna squirt a little drop of dish soap in here to kind of help the glitter slide around more smoothly. Let's see what that does. You don't want to add too much because you don't want to make it too bubbly and too soapy. But you want to help the glitter kind of slip around a little bit easier. I can already tell it's helping. There's less chunks. And then if it's falling a little bit faster than you want it to, you can either add more corn syrup or you can even add a drop of hand soap. We'll kind of slow it down as well. Honestly, this is really pretty. It's, it's dropping pretty slow and as some's going down, other ones are going up. 
So it's pretty fun to watch and look at and definitely has a calming effect. Maybe it'll even lower some blood pressures. We have a little bit of space at the top, more than we probably need. And so I might just add a tiny bit of corn syrup to make it a little bit thicker since we have some space. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add one drop of my hand soap. Let's see how this looks. It's a little bit trial and error as far as the corn syrup water and soap mixture, but all I use is corn syrup, warm water, and then maybe a touch of hand soap and dish soap, and it just makes the prettiest bottle. So that to me is pretty perfect. Of course, like I said, you can play with it. If you want it falling slower, you can do a little bit more corn syrup. If you want it faster, you can do more water. You can also play around with the hand soap. It's going to make it slower, and the dish soap is going to make it kind of more slippery and faster. But those do tend to kind of make it really soapy. So I, I do very little as far as the soap goes to mess with it. Okay, and once you're completely done with your bottle and you're happy with the way it looks, you're happy with the glitter, the consistency of the stuff inside, and how... Uh, fast or slow the glitter is moving throughout the, the water and the corn syrup, we definitely want to seal it up. You do not want this leaking out. I have food coloring in mine and then the corn syrup is very sticky. So definitely before you shake it or give it to your kiddos, make sure it's sealed. You do not want this leaking and getting on your furniture or your carpet or anything like that. So you're going to actually just use regular super glue. This is Gorilla Glue, something like this. You can try hot glue, but I definitely recommend super glue over hot glue. You're going to just twist the cap off. So you're going to want to put super glue up here on the threading of the bottle as well as the threading inside the cap. So this outer part of my cap actually doesn't touch anything, but you want to put it on the inside where the threading is. So go ahead and put some super glue all along there. I recommend the more liquid kind of super glue and not the gel kind. The liquid seems to just hold better and kind of goes in all the nooks and crannies better than the gel one does. So I would use a liquid, do it real tight, and then let it sit and have time for the super glue to really set up before you let anybody play with it. If you're super paranoid about it, you could always put a little line of super glue all the way around where the cap touches the bottle. But definitely let the super glue set up. Like I said, before you shake it, make sure it's good and sealed up. And then after that, you're free to play with it however you want. Okay, friends, so that's it. That's a quick and easy way to make sensory bottles. I hope you feel inspired to make some of your own, whether it's for you to sit on your desk at work so that you can calm down a little bit on a super stressful work day, or maybe they're for your kids or grandkids to enjoy. Like always, I will link all the supplies I use in the description below this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye! She's crafty and she knows it. She's crafty and she knows it. She's crafty and she knows. She's crafty and she knows.